Okay, now I've just got a uh, black, little bit of black mixed with uh, raw umber and burnt umber, and I'm going to put the tree in. Sometimes I put a little bit of liquid on the table so I can reach into it. So here we go. Some sort of silhouette in that tree. So when did you know you wanted to be an artist? Um, well, my dad was working at Gross Studios in Hollywood and I'd go in there and the prop painters for theater props were, I think, having the most fun. And I thought, oh, I can do this. And uh, my mom was always painting, so my dad didn't paint, but he worked with Grosh and so I was around it. What's Grosh? Rock Studios. It's a, uh, we made uh, things for Disney. Cartoons? Uh, painted props, backgrounds for the theaters, uh, did turntables, some of the first turntables for Disney. Uh, Walt Disney would come in and, and uh, my sister Maureen would be working there and, and uh, I would be welding and, and not really getting any of the fun stuff done. So it was nice to see that the company worked with a lot of fun people like Disney. So I thought, you know, it's something I like to do. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just sort of uh, laying in some of the shadows first. Because I've lost my sketch, I want to sort of uh, take the time to, to actually get a nice sketch going. We have a branch coming out here, probably about that thick. This is a jacaranda tree. It has a lot of uh, long, lengthy branches. And later I'll bring in the other uh, branches with the uh, flowers and leaves on it. Okay, I don't need to finish this to show you what's going on. You can pretty much see that I'm going to paint this tree. I think I had a branch right here too. make sense out of all this stuff later. Okay, we'll take a peek at it from a distance. So in a, in a general sense, I've done my layout for the painting that may take me a week to paint, but the basic under underpainting is done. Wow. Tell me about those shadows that you're putting in there on the tree. Well, they just, you know, let me see where there's a little bit of a character and the a growth of the tree and, and dark and, and lights and then when I come with my thicker paints I'll, I'll refine all that so uh, a lot of times I'll start on the shadow side and little uh, areas darken it, light wherever the light above is going to hit this will be the lighter side of the two. And I'll keep reinforcing that as the painting goes on. So what have we learned so far today? Well, we've learned how to just lay in your first layer of, of uh, oils, adding a little bit of liquid to it, and not being too worried, just doing it and getting up there having fun. Now I have a little branch here, I wasn't sure where I connected it, but let's say I'm uh, sort of going out here. We'll make it somewhere in there. Then 
sometimes I'll stand back and look at it and see if it looks believable. If it doesn't look believable, I change it. All right. Let's take a peek and see what well, we think. The only thing I'm going to do before I finish tonight, you might not see it on this tape, is I'm going to put some yellows and reds in here where there's going to be some uh, flowers and things. And then let this dry overnight with the liquid. And the liquid should get it dry within about 30 hours. All right. Well, thank you for teaching us all that. Okay. See you next time.